Skyrim is a big game filled with magic, mystery, and tons of stuff to do. That said, you might be wasting time and gold by playing without thinking outside the box. These are just a handful of the many, many ways you can get the most out of Skyrim by playing smarter. Many new players do not realize they don't have to scour the entire map to find new words of power. Instead of tearing through every dungeon you come across, you can speak with the Greybeard Arngir, whom you can find meditating around High Hrathgar. After the Dragonborn retrieves the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller for the Greybeards, Arngir can guide you to new words of power. If the Greybeards have heard a whisper of the word, then Arngir will mark the location on your map and add a miscellaneous objective to the journal. The Greybeards can only locate one word of power at a time, so you must find the current word wall marked on their map before returning. Another way to discover word wall locations is testing out newly acquired shouts. After the Dragonborn uses a shout for the first time, a courier will be dispatched to track them down. A courier will bring adventurers a letter that marks the location of a word wall on their map and starts a radiant quest to discover a new word of power. Although the couriers will only give one word wall quest at a time just like the Greybeards, the two quests are not mutually exclusive and allow the Dragonborn to search for two words of power at a time. Let's face it, the fastest way to collect specific items, at least in Skyrim, is by stealing. Robbing a store is not always easy though, as pesky NPC shopkeepers will sometimes refuse to leave their merchandise unattended, just like in real life. Luckily, there's an easy way to stealthily steal objects even while NPCs stand guard. One way to steal objects without shopkeepers noticing is by physically picking them up and moving them to a more discreet location. Once the object is out of its owner's sight, you can pocket it with ease. But if the Dragonborn is unable to find a suitable place, there is another way they can exploit Skyrim's physics to steal in plain sight. A bucket or large enough pot can be carefully placed on the heads of shop owners so that you can rob their stores without them seeing a thing. I am very, very sneaky, sir. The most effective way to level up any school of magic is by successfully casting as many spells of that type as possible. Practice does indeed make perfect. This means that players should constantly be casting spells whenever they have ample magic in order to gain experience quickly. Although this strategy sounds great on paper, any guard that sees you walking around populated towns or cities while shooting lightning from your hands will rightfully ask you to stop endangering the public, just like in real life. Even though players may find themselves being watched closely in these crowded areas, there are still ways to practice some magic in cities without getting in trouble. One of the easiest ways to increase the Dragonborn's illusion skill is by casting the novice level spell Courage on any friendly NPCs walking by. This is one of the few spells that can be cast on NPCs without any repercussions, and each successful casting of the spell will gain more experience for the illusion skill. Another way for the Dragonborn to use a bustling city to their advantage is by using the adept level alteration spell Detect Life. This spell is extremely effective at raising alteration in crowded areas because the amount of experience gained increases the number of targets that it allows users to see. See, violence isn't always the answer, just most of the time. Everybody loves violence. Yeah. Eventually, even the most nomadic Doverkeen realize that they need to buy a home where they can store their valuables and rest up for their next quest. Since Balgruff the Greater grants the Dragonborn the opportunity to purchase land in Whiterun early on in the main quest, one of the first big purchases players tend to make is buying the key to Bree's home. These same players would probably be pretty upset to learn that they wasted 5,000 septims when they could have just used an exploit to get the house in Whiterun without dropping a single coin. In order for this exploit to work, the Dragonborn must initiate dialogue with Preventus Avenici in his room while they are next to either his wardrobe or bedside table. After agreeing to purchase a house in Whiterun, players must quickly exit the conversation and store 5,000 gold in either the bedside table or wardrobe. When players turn back to face Preventus Avenici, he will present them with the key to Breeze home, and the gold can be retrieved after Avenici leaves. Sure, it's not exactly the honorable way to go about things, but hey, let he who hasn't covered a shopkeeper's head with a bucket cast the first stone. In Skyrim, each ingredient has four different effects that can be used for brewing potions at an alchemy lab. These effects can be discovered by either reading recipes, eating ingredients individually, or by attempting to brew a potion. The process can be wasteful and involve a lengthy series of trial and error if you don't know which ingredients share magical effects. Failing to create a potion using the wrong ingredients earns less experience and can waste valuable resources. So the best policy is to always eat new ingredients as soon as they are found. Eating new ingredients will instantly reveal one of its four different magical effects. Once you level up alchemy enough to reach the highest rank in the experimenter perk, you will be able to discover all of the effects of the ingredient by eating it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.